What's going on there watch fans? It's I'm at Dave Honda and welcome to my watch video. Today I'm going to talk about the new Cartier uh, tank monochrome must collection. Now this watch came out uh, in Geneva at the Watches and Wonder Fair in Switzerland last month. Honestly, I, I love Cartier. I think it's a great, great brand, but I've never owned a Cartier. I've never had the desire to own a Cartier. I've always respected them from afar until this watch came out because I'm a huge fan of the 80s. Uh, anyone who's a fan of the 80s or a fan of Art Deco or a fan of minimalist design or monochrome design in general will be a huge fan of this watch. Originally, Cartier did something similar to this in the, in the late 70s, early 80s, where they had lacquer dials of green lacquer, burgundy lacquer, and blue lacquer. I'm a huge fan of Andy Warhol, and this case was originally Andy Warhol's favorite case, the Cartier tank. Of course, it's iconic. Um, I've never owned a Cartier tank uh, for the same reason I've never owned a Rolex Datejust. You know, they have their place in history, but I like things that are unique, that are different, that not everybody else has. And this new Cartier monochrome must collection is just that for Cartier. There is no writing on the dial except for Cartier of the 12 o'clock position above the hands. Um, and at the six o'clock position in very small lettering at the bottom, it says Swiss made. What's incredible about this piece is how minimalist it is. Now, the only thing I, I'm not sure about, cause I haven't, you know, tried it, felt it, wore it, is um, how it's gonna look on the wrist because it's only 34 millimeters in case diameter. And I'm a fan of bigger watches, bigger cases. But that being said, there is something nice about having a smaller case, about having a minimalist case, about having a very clean design. And I think that this may have its place on my wrist. Um, what's even more amazing is that the price point, the price point is under 3K. It's like $2,700 and change. It's limited production. So once they're sold out of it, they're sold out of it. Um, and I think it's, it's one of those watches, unless you are really paying attention, um, it's something that could absolutely just pass you by because everyone's so used to, you know, the, the classic Cartier, you know, Tank Francais or the, the Tank Solo or any of the other Tank styles. This is very much, in my opinion, like art on the wrist. And Cartier's lacquer dials, now these lacquer dials, again, are gonna be green lacquer, burgundy lacquer and blue lacquer and they have matching uh alligator straps so for the money it's a phenomenal value the only other thing that is kind of a point of contention but it's not that big a deal for me is that it's quartz now generally i'm a fan of history i'm a fan of i'm a purist when it comes to watches and mechanics so i like manual wine watches or automatic watches but I gotta tell you, sometimes it's nice not to worry about, you know, wearing it to power it and just putting it on and going. Um, another cool thing about this watch is there's no way that anyone would know it's quartz um, other than they know, the, they know the exact model and they know it's quartz because there's no second hand on the watch. It's just the hours and minutes and that's it. It's available now. If you're looking to purchase one, I would highly suggest you contact me as soon as possible. These are meant to deliver sometime, I would say late summer, early fall. So it's gonna be whatever the retail is plus tax while supplies last. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to rock on, fly back, and stay healthy.